Hey, welcome back to another episode of Twitter Rotting My Already Corrosive Brain. Today we're going to be talking about Hooters, Boneless Wings, Fortnite, The Bible, and last but certainly not least, peak alpha male behavior, aka the spectacle on Twitter that is Nick Adams tweets, that are actually so wholeheartedly beyond parody that my boyfriend did not believe that this man was a real person. No joke, I had to Google this man's name to prove that he actually exists and is a thing and isn't just like a parody account. That's how insane the shit we're going to be getting into today. Is. Now you may be sitting there at home and wondering, gee, who is this peak alpha male Nick Adams and why is he beyond parody doll? Well, per his Twitter bio, Nick Adams is a best-selling author endorsed by President Donald Trump, which means that Trump tweeted about him twice and he decided to therefore dub himself Trump's favorite author. And as seen in his name, the man is an alpha male. Now we've talked about alpha males on this channel before, they're rather interesting on TikTok to say the least. So I figured we should definitely take a look at these iconic tips and advice that Nick Adams has for us on Twitter, you know, because we're simple little beta bitches and need to know how to be a peak alpha like Nick Adams. Adams, of course. It starts with Fortnite and boneless wings. It ends with gender pronouns and communism. You know that like weird genre of alpha male content that has like nothing to do with like anything and is also like oddly religious at times? Yeah, this is that. Prepare as necessary for the cringe. Now don't let the woke mob kill me. But I will say that this is 100% accurate, guys. I mean, one day I went to Wingstop and I just ordered like boneless garlic parmesan wings instead of like traditional garlic parmesan wings. And sure as shit, I got a Fortnite dub later that day. And shortly after I decided to go from she, her to she, they. Cause clearly it was those sweet, sweet wings and getting a Fortnite dub that made me have the great pronoun switch. Also being serious for a second, someone who absolutely adores traditional wings, specifically flat, they're superior. I'm not fighting anyone on that. There's something about boneless wings that's just so much more convenient because sometimes I just don't want to get my hands covered in sauce if it's at a place that has like a ton of sauce on their wings. Like you know how B-dubs coats their wings in that goopy ooey sauce? I don't want to touch that sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I just want to enjoy some chicken without getting my hands saucy. And with that in mind, I do have to say that it is a little sus indeed that you want more men to lick sauce off their fingers from eating traditional wings. Throw your Fortnite controllers in the trash. Bury your Fortnite system in your backyard. Snap your Fortnite disc in half. Burn your Fortnite cheat guide booklet. Pick up the Bible and go to church. Alpha males don't worship false idols. You heard him, guys. Get rid of the Fortnite controllers, the Fortnite systems, and especially the Fortnite disc. The Fortnite disc is a gift from the devil, clearly, and not the conjurings of an out-of-touch man that's pushing 40. Seriously, though, at, like, what point in adulthood do you go from, like, actually understanding the material you're criticizing to, like, just being an old person yelling at the sky? Because... Before I hit that point, I would like you to take me into the backyard and give me the old yeller treatment. Like truly, it was nice knowing you guys, but I would rather end my life than get to that point. Plus, no offense, but if this is considered a false idol in your eyes in comparison to your idea of God, honestly, that kind of sounds like a skill issue on your God's part, to be honest. I need you to immediately put your Fortnite controllers in the garbage disposal, pick up your Bibles, and head to church followed by Hooters. So, if it wasn't obvious for any reason. This guy has a very clear and odd obsession with Hooters, plus wings in general, and serious question, what is the actual appeal of Hooters? Because because on one hand, this man hypes up their wings, but like all the Hooters near me have a 4.1 rating at the highest and a 3.6 at the lowest, which isn't bad by any means, but is also not amazing. I could probably get better wings at like a local bar. And on the other hand, he also hypes up how Hooters is like the pride lands for alpha males. And I'm gonna be real with you for a second. There is not a single alpha male that goes to Hooters for the reason you're pushing here, Nick. No further discussion. In fact, I would argue that you are probably too cheap to go to a strip club to actually pay the women you are very clearly ogling at like a cartoon character. Man is seriously on some humana humana awooga type shit. I say this because you have a very clear focus on the waitresses of Hooters and not just the wings and beer like you pretend you have. Which from reading the reviews at a random Hooters in my state, the wings are probably not worth going to Hooters for if we're being honest. Put down the TikTok. Throw away the soy, almond, and oat milk. Put down the Fortnite controller. Eat a steak. Read the Bible. Pump some iron. 
go to Hooters with the boys, stay away from Starbucks, stand with President Trump, never apologize for being an alpha male. Now, I haven't been to church in a while and I don't even go frequently, but I find it a tad ironic to talk about reading the Bible so often while focusing on the appearance of the woman at Hooters constantly as seen in your previous tweets. Now, I don't know the good book all that well by any means, but if I recall correctly, there is a quote from Matthew 5, 28 through 29 that just kind of hits a little hard here. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. I mean, considering how you openly admit that there is an appeal for you to go to Hooters because of the waitresses, women who may actually be with other men already, which sounds like you're trying to covet another man's wife. A big no-no as part of the Ten Commandments. It sounds like that book you may be preaching about reading you may not be reading as thoroughly as you say you are. And that big building you may be frequenting that gives talks based on said book you may not be listening to as diligently as you may act like you do. I mean, if a filthy sinner like me knows this, how are you missing out on this, Nick? Sounds like you're not meeting your own standards of being an alpha male, Nick. Which also seems to be a running theme here, but we'll talk about that later. Besides the obvious lack of Bible studies here, I'm also thoroughly convinced that Nick here gets his kicks from sounding like an out-of-touch old man on Twitter.com. You know, considering the fact that put down the TikTok and throw away your Fortnite controllers is a whole part of his shtick, it seems. That, or he's into degradation, who fucking knows these guys are weird. However, one thing's for sure, and that's that Nick here has some sort of complex because I mean, dude, seriously, how else can you explain this shit? Major announcement! I'm honored to have been named Times Alpha Male of the Year. I take this distinction seriously and am more motivated than ever to continue promoting alpha male values to the young men of America. Not even my god complex in the midst of a manic episode can make me post cringe like this. Proof that Nick Adams has surpassed the mentally ill benchmark of delusion. I'm being so serious when I say that if you have to make a little edit of yourself to be Times Alpha Male, something that isn't even a thing, just to kind of give yourself ass pats on the internet Internet, you're probably not an alpha male, and you may be entitled to therapy to learn how to cope. But hey, times are tough, I get that. Probably just needed something to add to your store so other grown men can have pictures of you with a fake Times cover in your house. If that's what being an alpha male is, I guess. Beta males have Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, and Drake on their Spotify wrapped. Alpha males have Jason Aldean, Kid Rock, Morgan Wallen, Lee Greenwood, Mercy Me, and Casting Crows on their Spotify wrapped. You know, that's like a very specific set of like singers and bands in order to be considered an alpha male due to your Spotify wrapped, but you know, I highly doubt that this is because of anything on your personal Spotify wrapped playlist. Oh wait, no fuck! Hi, uh, totally serious and very important question regarding all this. What does it mean if I don't actually listen to either of those singers or bands, both alpha and beta related. Am I, oh my God, it, am I a Sigma male? Holy shit, I think I might actually be a Sigma male, guys. I mean, seriously, look at this shit. With top artists and songs like that, I'm either like a true Sigma male or I'm just incredibly fucking depressed. And to be completely honest, either of those are valid options. Alpha males should strive to have a better relationship with their butcher than their wife. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this actually checks out. Because you specifically have no wife nor partner listed on your Wikipedia page, Nick. Guess you developed too good of a relationship with your butcher, huh, Nick? Beta males and toxic feminists are extremely jealous of my massive success. Sadly, that's just the life of an alpha male in America today. We need to do more to help alphas thrive. My brother in Christ, I guarantee you that me nor people in your quote tweets are jealous of your success. Most of us shoot to be more successful than just two tweets from a past president, but if that's the bar for you, then go off, man. Everybody has different goals in life. To tell you the truth, Nick, I feel like most people are just clowning on you for your tweets, because be serious for a second. I seriously doubt that there is a correlation between boneless wings, choice in milk, as well as playing video games that leads to a certain lifestyle path? Like, you know, I did the math and I just don't think it's mathin'. I drink almond milk because sometimes my stomach hurts when I drink regular milk and I would rather not blow up the bathroom at my job early in the morning. Boneless wings are truly God's convenient gift to man. And video games are just fun, dude, even if they're meme to shit like Fortnite is. It's just really that simple that there's no correlation. 
But hey, if it is peak alpha male behavior for you to go to Hooters with the boys and watch them suck the sauce off their fingers, then who am I to truly stop you? The pain of childbirth pales in comparison to the agony of a man with a cold. Now this is truly a peak alpha male and original post yet again from Nick Adams that totally isn't taken from somebody else on Twitter. Oh fuck, okay then. Well, I guess it just goes to show that even our greatest thinkers of today, our most original thinkers, have to steal a tweet every now and then as a treat. Now I can personally feel my brain rotting from the brainstem at the moment, so I figured off we would just read one more of Nick Adams' wonderful advices for alpha males. A banger of a tweet, if you will. Alpha males don't need to announce their alphas. Everyone just knows. You know, just another iconic tweet from Twitter user Nick Adams. Alpha male. So basically, what have we learned today with the little spectacle that is Nick Adams' Twitter? Basically, everything this man says and does is just peak alpha male behavior, even when he's just very clearly contradicting himself. The Bible is the perfect alpha male prop. You don't even have to read it. You just need to know what the cover says. Fortnite? Bad. Traditional wings will save you from pronouns and communism. And, most importantly, literally any word salad that you could come up with with certain buzzwords that's posted from an account that calls itself an alpha male would probably pop off amongst that crowd. But that's just a theory for us to test another time. But thank you guys for watching this video on how Twitter is rotting my brain once again. We actually haven't done a video like this in quite some time, so I figured while I'm working on some bigger stuff, we might as well have some fun with one of these. And by have some fun, I mean test the limits between me surviving and grabbing that gun over there. But until the next video, I'm gonna try to salvage whatever is left in my brain and maybe go read a book or something. Something to restore some firmness. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.